I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is to talk about some of the foundation that I forgot to talk about in the last video. You know when you be trying to balance out a video not being too long, not talking too much, you be forgetting okay and also I've tried a lot of foundations. If you guys want to know some more of the greatest foundations I've ever tried, let's go. Now looking back how could I have forgotten to talk about any NARS foundation because baby when I tell you NARS literally makes some of the best foundation on the market. Their foundations rarely miss. Not even like all of them so much i like all of them i've tried and all of them you know i could wear blah, 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 but like the difference the different levels of how much i like them there's definitely a difference the first one nars sheer glow baby that is the you know more expensive version of the nyx born to glow foundation everything i said about nyx born to glow apply that to nars sheer glow again that glow from within you know but it's not gonna be dewy if you have oily skin like don't think your face is gonna look wet or anything like that a very natural finish foundation love the shade match for myself um could be an everyday foundation you wear it to work you wear it to school could be for special occasions photographs really nicely all that good stuff so nars sheer glow now weird enough a couple years ago people were saying it's going to be discontinued but i still see it on the sites so i don't know if you know they were like oh we're discontinuing people were like find somebody else to play with or they made like a newer who's text me they made a newer version yeah it's still on sephora nars sheer glow foundation retail, retails for 47 dollars comes in oh 45 shades it says it is a foundation with buildable coverage for a finish that enhances the look of skin without masking the natural complexion skin type normal dry combination oily coverage medium finish and natural formulation liquid skin type it says normal and dry so you guys know if i'm hyping it up with my oily skin then that means it's actually really good i feel like i look really really bright like really really bright which you know i really don't need because last night i got a comment talking about you're not dark skin it's giving brown brown wear hmm? y'all be calling light skin keisha brown skin so if you call her light skin i mean brown skin and you call me brown skin we can't be twinning them we i just it's not it's not giving that okay this is the sun this is the lighting that it looks extremely bright today i don't know what that is but yeah don't play with me um the next foundation is the also nars but for my oily skin girls it is the nars soft matte complete foundation this retails for 42 dual hairs comes in probably 45 shades as well come on 34 shades baby listen just go look at this on the website okay um a full coverage transfer proof oxidation a full coverage transfer proof oxidation resistant foundation that lasts up to 16 hours with a natural looking matte finish coverage is full finishes matte formulation is liquid it is the foundation i have on my face today um yeah the 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 perfect soft matte foundation for oily skin something about nars they just gonna do it to you nars like listen we understand that different um skin types exist so we'll make a matte foundation we'll make a natural foundation best believe all these foundations are going to give skin, okay? When you get photographed in our foundation, it's not going to give cakey. I mean, you could, it's buildable, so you could if that's really the look that you're going for. But you know, a lot of people, well, besides the fact that matte can dry you out, if you, um, especially if you have dry skin, a lot of people say that, you know, matte foundations tend to be cakier foundations, not with this one, baby. It is, it is also a soft matte foundation, but real breathable on the face. Y'all know I don't like feeling foundation when I have it on. Um, so real breathable on the face. Uh, again, color match. I, I think, I think their foundations are like, if you find your shade in one shade, it'll be the same shade in all the other shades in their foundations as you try them in. Like I literally wear D3 in every foundation from NARS that I try. So that's also convenient. Um, but yeah, NARS, they just do not miss with their foundation. They released that um, light reflecting one, which is supposed to be like a more advanced version of Sheer Glow. It is really good. And it does also photograph very nicely. It's very beautiful on the face. 
but is it topping sheer glow no it is not um what else i've tried the skin tint from nars that's a really good skin tint um i have tried natural radiant i don't like natural radiant as much as the other nars foundations by itself it isn't a very good mixing foundation but yeah that's my thoughts on that but those two sheer glow and soft matte were like this okay now this next one it is the most expensive foundation that i've ever reviewed on my channel um i'll be wearing it sometimes like if i'm filming because i work the other day if i'm going somewhere but this is one of those like if you gonna splurge and treat yourself and have a nice foundation that you know is your go-to for special occasions when you're going out you got a wedding to go to um if you're going to be photographed maternity shoots anything like that blah blah blah, blah. it is the la mer soft fluid long wear foundation it retails for 145 dull hairs um comes in 8 16 24 27 shades it says it's a weightless natural looking foundation with buildable coverage for luxurious long wear coverage is medium finishes natural formulation is liquid skin type normal dry combination and oily i love that foundation when it comes to is it worth the price i mean can you get other foundations that do the same thing if not better for a cheaper price yeah you probably can but do i regret the 145 no i don't it's going to differ for everybody but i like that foundation and maybe when they say luxurious feel out something about it just i mean maybe you got to tell yourself it's giving luxurious because it was 145 dollars but um i like the foundation like i said i was wearing it the other day um it is a treat yourself type of thing but especially for photography if you're going to be filmed photograph it looks very nice on the face it does have a scent to it it has like a floral type scent y'all know i have sensitive skin as well god just threw everything in the bag when it came to me sensitive skin a neutral undertone that was going either it's going to be too red or it's going to be too cool on my undertone oily skin just threw all of it into the bag when making me um it does have a little scent to it but surprisingly it does not break me out when i wear it so thumbs up for me now this one right here is an oldie a goodie and they could not leave well enough alone they went ahead and made a newer version of it i tried the newer version i think earlier this year either earlier this year or late last year i mean cute but again if it ain't broke do not fix it okay that is the l'oreal true match foundation y'all know that's a staple for a lot of makeup wearers a lot of makeup artists for a reason because again see how you can get like the drugstore version um and it still be as good because now that i think about it true match she kind of be giving la mer and y'all know l'oreal it's nowhere near 145 um a very natural foundation it's <laughs> I don't know if it's because if you've tried it and you know the formula it's very runny very watery i don't know if that like mixing in just makes it easier for it to blend in with your face but very natural your skin but better finish on the face is very long wearing um especially with how you set the rest of your face um that's why people wear it for weddings and proms and stuff like that um the shade range and mind you they just kept adding and adding shades to it you now back in the day to be fair back in the day their shade range was giving was a lot of foundation shade ranges give right now um and you know throughout the years they have added more and more shades to it i wear the shade n10 which was an extension ooh, um, 2017 somewhere 18 somewhere around there um but yeah it's affordable it's a beautiful finish it's a beautiful wear um the shade range in it you know again when you're a true neutral undertone love that for me and then they went ahead and discontinued it and came out with like a newer version i tried the newer version you know cute not that girl now if you want to talk about a throwback i mean a throwback like i did not put this down for a very good minute this is the becca ultimate coverage complexion cream baby i was i was all the way here for this product okay um now i've said before how i feel like cream products look really nice on the face how they blend into your face um it just again it's like you you put in that uh smoothing filter on facetune but not to the point now what just flew i'm hoping that was a bird that just flew by my window like that what am i saying
I don't remember what I was saying. I was talking about, it gives filter on the face as if it's like face tune, but not like too fake, right? It's still giving natural your skin, but better, but baby, you're covered. Okay, especially with this, when they say ultimate coverage, and I don't, I don't really fool like full, full with full coverage like that, but that product, I didn't put that down for a minute. The shade was bomb on there. The wear was bomb on there. Again, it being a cream product, it still wore really nicely on my face. Would I use, see now that I'm talking about it, like I kind of do want to use it again in 2023 and see like, would I still love it as much as I did at the time? Um, but uh, they just continue, well not discontinued. Y'all know uh, Becca had to close down. I think Smashbox purchased them. I think, but like even like trying to Google it, it's coming up at different places, like $11 at Amazon. I don't know if I would take the risk of purchasing it from there. 37 at Walmart, it's just, it's, I hate when they discontinue products. Like, well, I keep saying discontinue, maybe they didn't, they didn't discontinue it. The brand shut down. Um, and that was very unfortunate because Becca did have some bangers, but um, okay. It's just getting really chaotic today. Becca really did have some bangers and that was one of them. Like I, I rode for that back in the day. I kind of really want to do, try it now. Cause I feel like now, especially with how much has changed with how I do makeup, like I fear I would try it now and be like, mm, it's kind of giving speckle. But I, let me know, let me know if you guys would want to see that. Okay, and the last one I have, I was on her real bad a couple summers ago, probably like 2018, 2019. It is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation and retails for 14. I know you lying. It retails for $40 for one fluid ounce. Baby, why are there only eight shades shown here? And six of them are out of stock. Are they discontinuing this? What is happening? Can't have nothing. Can't, I know you lying. Wait, what? Cause it's not giving like a show more, show more shades type thing. And this was a foundation that probably had at least like 20 shades in it. What, what? <sighs> a vegan buildable medium coverage, lightweight foundation with a real skin, long lasting matte finish that stays put for up to 24 hours. Coverage is medium, finish is matte, formulation is liquid. This is a matte foundation for the oily skin girlies. Okay, and uh, again, a uh, shade right well i can't even well they had it at the time um the wear on it and again even though it was a matte foundation it still looked really nice on the face it was definitely one of those um foundations where if i was using a soft matte foundation in the fall winter i would switch to that one for um the summer because it was really going to keep your face together. I'm actually really sad seeing that because what do you mean? There's only eight shades showing and six of them, it's giving, they're phasing this product out, which hopefully, hopefully it's just Sephora is phasing it out. Like maybe they're not going to carry that anymore and not Urban Decay is getting rid of this foundation altogether because that would be real unfortunate. Okay, y'all, that is it for this video. It's ending a lot sadder than I thought it would um, because out of the ones I just talked about, what, three are still available? I just, you literally just cannot have anything nice. Um, so that is it for this video. Um, I'm sure there are still even more foundations that I really did love that I forgot to talk about in today's video. So I could always do another part to this later on if you guys want to see one, but yeah. So that's gotta be like, what, 10 foundations that out of the, you know, 200 that I've tried, I would really recommend. They are some of the best foundations that I've tried in the eight or nine years that I've been doing this. And clearly I still wear um, a lot of the ones that I talk about, that I talked about in these two videos. So yeah, um, let me know what some of your greatest foundations ever were in the comments down below. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share notification bells down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.